think I've got With no play, the dressing room is a cluttered scene of players waiting for the umpires to inspect the wicket at one o'clock. Cards is a favourite pastime amidst the noise and laughter. Away from the table, a chance for Greg Chappell and Ross Edwards to practice reflexes with some slips catching. There's a happy atmosphere, possibly characteristic of a winning team, with corners of confined cricket, cards and comedy. <laughs> and so Colin lived happily ever after. <laughs> Yeah, you Days like this give them time to catch up on the chores associated with stardom, signing the hundreds of much sought after autographs. Here we are, I think I've done all those. 450 boomerangs, 350 bats, 125 books. And that accounts for this morning's work. But they don't mind the many souvenirs left in the room for signing. They know only too well that they won't be there forever. The popularity is good now, but you're soon forgotten when it's all over. These days are for letter writing too. Dennis Lilly is quiet today, answering some of the hundreds of fan letters. But there's always a diversion. This time someone has produced some tennis rackets. Most of them have played a bit of tennis and it's good to get a chance to get out and play something when the cricket's off. While the pitch is a quagmire, the grass courts at the back of the grandstand have recovered well. They have ball bearings in them or something? Something's rattling. A good standard, but no Davis Cup hopefuls. <laughs> Card players Doug Walters and Terry Jenner are still at it. Coincidentally, they're batting rescued Australia the next day. And you've had a fairly unfortunate season, I suppose, Terry. You, you've probably had too many opportunities to play cards. Yeah, well, my card playing's improved, but I think, uh, you know, I'd like to have a game here and there, but as I said, it's better to be 12th and 13th, I guess. Yeah. What are some of the funny stories that uh, are associated with being a 12th man? Oh, I think the worst thing that happened to me was uh, in Melbourne when Greg was fielding in close for Ashley Mallet and he called for a protector. And uh, I was a bit coy about it, so I wrapped it up in a hat and sort of trotted it out onto the field with this wash, washer hat and the protector in it. And uh, Greg's not all that coy, and uh, he said, Well, you've been embarrassed, TJ. And I said, Oh, a little bit. So he turned to where the cameras were and uh, just politely undid his strides and put it in. And I went three shades of purple. It was probably colour TV, too, wasn't it? <laughs> and disappeared off the ground. I didn't know where to look all the way off. <laughs> The undisputed king of the card table is Doug Walters. Has, has a lot of skill. Seven, Wrapped around a lot of luck. 27. 31. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason why you should have a four there, is it? But he's got one. <laughs> now I'll play a six.